guys, my name is Jacqueline. I am a corporate flight attendant and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about FBOs. It's something that I talk about basically in every vlog and I figured at some point I should share exactly what an FBO is. So if you've joined me on my vlogs, I've taken you inside many of them. If you have not and you are new to my corporate flight attendant channel or you're just interested in learning more about the job, an FBO stands for a fixed base operation or fixed based operator. So what exactly is an FBO or a fixed based operator? They are pretty much your right hand man when you are in corporate aviation. They handle everything on the back end. They make the flight attendant's job easy and the pilot's job easy, as well as providing customer service to our passengers. So basically what goes on behind the scenes is they handle fueling parking the aircraft or putting your airplane in a hangar if you have an overnight. If you are flying and your plane has a mechanical, they have maintenance there. They offer VIP lounges to the passengers and provide them with a comfortable place to relax while the crew gets the airplane ready. Basically, an FBO does anything and everything for everyone. So as you guys know, I frequent Miami all the time. I basically live there. I've joked that I should buy another home down there because I'm there so often. So last time I was there, I decided to take some behind the scenes footage and uh, just film what the FBO looked like. I decided to do this one, so I can make an informational vlog for you guys. And two, because I really liked the decor, I thought it would be the best FBO to show. So that is what this footage is. As you can see, there is a coffee and snack station for passengers and crew. Basically, when passengers walk in, they can help themselves to whatever they like. Uh, if crew has some time for a sit, if they're if they're flying down to a destination, waiting a few hours, and then flying out of that same destination, there are food and drink services provided for the crew. There is also a conference lounge. A few times I have flown business executives. Here comes my cat Lola right into the shot. Okay, as I was saying, I have flown uh, executives down to destinations for meetings. There are conference lounges there, so they can have their business partners or potential business partners meet them at the airport, have a face-to-face -face meeting, and then we leave and fly back to our base. There is also a quiet room, so when our passengers are having business meetings, the crew can take a little nap, or they can read in silence, be out of view. This particular FBO in Miami it does have crew showers and a nice bathroom. Here comes Lola again. For obvious reasons, I did not film what the showers looked like. Privacy issues. There are designated areas called pilot lounges. However, there are not designated areas called flight attendant lounges. Somehow we always get stiffed. The FBO is also extremely helpful every time the flight lands. So when we are done with our flight, they will collect our dishes and wash them for us. They will dispose of trash 
And then I also get catering suggestions from the staff at the FBO. So I ask who delivers here often, who have you heard provides good meals that will be delivered on time, and they give me suggestions and let me know how I can get in contact with the caterers. So if I'm flying to a new destination, I don't have to worry about necessarily finding caterers on my own. The FBO is here to assist us with that. They're also great at arranging car rentals. Uh, a lot of times if we have just day trips, they will give us a crew car. This way we can leave the airport for a little bit, get some fresh air, go to a restaurant and have a nice meal and not have to sit around in the FBO all day. A little bit more information about the FBO for you guys. Uh, when passengers arrive, there is a screening process for them. It is different than general airport security, however. So it's like its own mini airport slash city slash everything that we need to get our job done. Of course, there are fees for using the FBO. None of these services are free. One time, actually at this Miami FBO, I did a quick dish wash uh, because we were just parking the plane there for a few hours and then leaving again. And I wanted to have enough dishes for my passengers. And the fee to wash dishes was like astronomical. It is so expensive to use their services and they vary. So there's no set fee for every different place you go. Sometimes it's trial and error and you'll find, wow, I just paid $200 to get my dishes done compared to when I was in Boston not that long ago and they did a quick wash, no fee. Thank you very much. Here's your clean dishes, no bill. Nice doing business with you. But you do have to pay to get things that you want and things that you need. Our passengers are paying a high premium for luxury service, luxury travel, and behind the scenes, we have to pay a high fee to be able to provide our passengers with that as well. Even if you are not traveling as a passenger on a private jet, you are still able to access FBOs. So they do have some fun services that the everyday people can kind of see. I know there's a lot of restaurants in the FBO. You sit almost basically right on the runway and you can watch planes depart and land, which if you are an AV geek, that is definitely a fun experience. Airplanes are always fun and exciting. Like I work on them all the time. I've done this for six years and I still like going to do those kind of things. So you don't have to be in the corporate aviation world or working at an FBO to get to experience an FBO. So it's kind of a shorter vlog today. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much, but I give you a good insight as to what an FBO is. Thank you guys very much for watching my videos. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like my video, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys have questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, just post them down below. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.